What a way to start my new life. <sighs> With the perfect egg sandwich. Ooh, fried egg sandwich. That's the knuckle. Knuckle sandwich has yet to connect to its audience. I mean, I'm here to connect with my audience right now. I made something new. It doesn't have a bell on it yet. Maybe I will put one on in the future, but this is a gantry carriage harvester. It runs back and forth along a gantry shaft and it harvests wheat and seeds. And it puts the wheat and seeds in that dude and wheat goes out, it goes in here and it gets crafted into bread. The seeds get pushed onto this dude. They fly up here to feed into this guy right here, this upper belt, because I had to, and, and it shoots right through the uprights here. I think they call that a touchdown in football. I'm not quite sure, but regardless, I wanted to explain how to use a gantry carriage effectively as a create mod device. It's pretty simple once you know how it works. So this is a gantry shaft. That is a gantry carriage. And when it's all glued together, it's considered a create gantry contraption. I have an inventory on there. So whatever those harvests, harvesters harvest goes into the inventory, right? Cause it's all part of one system. And then it drops the stuff here. Like I just showed you, boom, nothing to drop now. Cause it's not harvesting anything. The input is right here. So in order to accomplish this going back and forth, you have to change the rotation of this gantry shaft. See how that just spun? And that's done using this device right here, which is called a gear shift. So the input spins one way, right, into this dude. And then when it receives a redstone signal, it reverses the spin direction, and it causes this thing to go back and forth, right? So this right here, is called a redstone contact and notice how this has like a little face on it when the two faces touch a redstone signal is emitted boom and then it sends it to here this guy is linked to over here yonder sends a signal into this dude powered latch and he's controlling this gear shift rotation, right? So it hits this one, boom, it flicks the lever, and then it hits the other one, boom, it flicks the lever back. So redstone signal, and then when it gets down there, no redstone signal. See the setup? Before I cover it up, I wanted to kind of show this so people that don't know how to use this can figure out how to use this, because that's my goal of this channel, is not just to share builds with people it's also to teach you how to do different stuff in the create mod if you're unfamiliar with it so these chickens are in here they lay eggs cool bunch of them they're not cage free because cage free eggs are freaking expensive right now i don't know if you pay attention to what's going on in the world but they get cooked here campfire in the air with it with a, a fan boom goes into this mixer there's 64 fried eggs in there it's waiting on more wheat to make bread when it gets bread, it makes the deal. Boom, it puts it in here. And I have this guy up here. What's his name? Something clever, I'm sure. I forget, can't see it. But it's cool. He feeds eggs. And he's going to load them into Dora eventually. And when I finally finish my backpack supply rig thing, I can put an auto feed upgrade in my backpack. And I'll have egg sandwiches forever and an eternity. And the one last thing that I wanted to show is because the way I have this set up right now, down here yonder, I have this dude. He's a sticky piston. I'm going to put a redstone torch right here on this block. And then I'm going to have a, a thing over here that reads the amount of inventory in here. And when this fills up to, I don't know how many sandwiches I'm going to keep. Let's say a thousand. When it hits a thousand, boom. It'll activate that sticky piston and that sticky piston will pull this redstone contact out of here and it'll stop this thing from running back and forth until I tell it to turn back on. And then the sticky piston will deactivate or reactivate rather and push this thing back. Hopefully that makes sense. I think you know what I'm talking about, right? There's, it's called a threshold something. What's this thing called? At create thresh hold this dude threshold switch you put that on the side of the box and then you can program it activate the redstone signal deactivate the redstone signal when you hit this amount if you have any questions leave a comment 
And if you're like, oh, dude, this guy's cool, leave a comment. Peace.